what's our relationship then with holding a grudge, with with being uh, not being able to let go of our anger at someone or our jealousy or seeing jealousy and pride and anger and lust and all of, you know, craving, wanting, grasping. What is our relationship with all of that? So I always refer to Sony Rinpoche's teachings on handshake. And um, anyone who has ever recently heard my teachings in the last couple of years have heard me talk about this at length. But he, he uses the word handshake to describe um, having, uh, oh, uh, having appreciation rather than criticism for what we see in ourselves as the way for things to be able to be ventilated and to uh, move on. In other words, if something is frozen like ice, warmth is what allows it to melt. And so the, the attitude of wa- warmth or loving kindness is not the same thing as saying, oh, it's my anger is good, my grudge, holding a grudge is justifiable. Um, the, uh, it's admirable that uh, that I have jealousy. It's not the same as that. It's just uh, having a feeling of tenderness toward that which we see. And so he uses the analogy of the two hands, which you don't actually have to do. It's just that this kind of demonstrates. So he says one hand is the, let's say, holding a grudge, tightness contractedness. It's, it's, let's just choose that as one possible thing that it could be. It could also be self-pity or self-denigration. Uh, it could be any, any of the myriad habitual patterns and propensities that we're very familiar with. And the other hand is bodhicitta or loving kindness or unconditional acceptance. And so he, he says, it's there. And then, then he describes, he's, at you, those of you who know Sony Rinpoche, he's a very, very funny. And, and he demonstrated this to me once uh, privately when I asked him a question in an interview. And he had me laughing so hard that tears were coming down my cheeks. But anyway, he said, this is, this is a habitual pattern. And to kind of demonstrate how honry our habitual patterns are, how stuck and how kind of committed we are to our propensities. He said, the other hand, the loving kindness comes down. The idea is it just wants to go like this, you know. He says, so it comes down and it <laughs> punches back. <laughs> so, it, so, but it doesn't, we don't give up on ourselves. So it just comes again. And again, it's like, you know, leave me alone. Get out of here. I, I, I want to stay the way I am. As he said, I find like with students, they're always saying, uh, I, want to, uh, I want to be better. I want to be better than I am. So he suggests this, this, and this. And they said, well, no, no, no. I don't want to give up anything. I don't want to give up anything in order to be better. I just want to be better. You know? So this is the, I don't want to give up anything. It's just like you try to apply loving kindness to yourself, and, and you're either cynical about it or... Uh, downright aggressive towards that attitude, or uh, you see that it could possibly work and you don't want to let go of the propensity because it's so much you, that sense of a solid you. So he says, you just keep, you don't give up on yourself. You just keep applying the warmth and tenderness. And then gradually, you know, it's less aggressive and gradually it just slows down and calms down. It's soothed. And then you can be with yourself just as you are. So that's what he calls handshake. You know, sort of just being with yourself just as you are. And I absolutely love it because to me it, it's, uh, it is the basis of everything. It's the basis of, of uh, awakening for sure. And without it you can't awaken. That's absolutely for sure.